Hi friends, today we are going to see one of the important and basic topic related to the electromagnetism. Based on this topic, he the great scientist Oersted or X, he concluded that the electricity and magnetism are both are interconnected. So previous this experiment, all the world they have thought that the electricity and magnetism both are different entities, but after this experiment, the Oersted, one of the great scientists, concluded that both are interconnected. So let's see what he has done. The experiment, what which proved that the both are interconnected, the electricity and magnetism. Let's proceed to our activity. So based on the great scientist, that is Oersted, the name has taken that is Oersted experiment. Next, this experiment is to show the aim to show the current carrying wire produces magnetic field. So this is the case, the current and magnetic both are interrelated in this total experiment. We will see how they are interrelated. So how the electromagnetism has taken place. Let's proceed. So for this activity we require materials like thermocool sheet, two thin wooden sticks. So the top of the wooden stick should be some slits. Next the wooden sticks height of one centimeter, copper wire. So it is 24 gauge, it is better. Next, 3 or 4 volts battery, key means switch, when magnetic compass. So these are the materials. Based on these materials, we can perform the activity, the experiment. Let's proceed uh, step by step. So procedure. Take a thermocol sheet and fix two thin wooden sticks of height 1 cm, which have small slit at the top of their ends. So we already seen. We have taken a wooden sticks which have the slits. So some cuttings on the top. So this is the case. We have to take the thermocool sheet and the thermocool sheet we have to place two wooden sticks which have the slits on the top of their ends. So the figure I will explain in the figure total matter is there. So next these sticks are joined with the help of the copper wire and a series connection with some more elements like battery, key as shown in the figure 1. So let's go to the figure. So in the figure I have taken same. It is a thermocol sheet I have taken the one. Next the parts I will explain later. Let's go to the diagram. So here seam I placed a thermocol sheet. Next two wooden sticks I have placed on the thermocol sheet which have the slits. Slits means the bending. So it is helps to connect. It gives the support for the connecting whites which holds the whites in a stable way. So this slits is the use that one to stable the whites. Next with the help of these slits we will connect one end to another end of the another stick. Next these ends of the whites are connected one to the battery and it made the series connection with the key or the switch. The another turn will be connected to the switch. This is the case. This is the total figure one. See the parts I have taken see one as the thermocol sheet. Next. 2 it is wooden sticks, next 3 it is the battery group of cells, next 5 compass, we will see the compass, what is the need of the compass, next 6 it is the key or the switch, next 4th it is the copper wire which is 24 gauge, next the magnetic compass step we have to see, see place a magnetic compass beneath the wire as shown in figure 1, so the compass should be placed under the wire, so if, by using this Placing of compass only, we will conclude that the current and the magnetic both are interrelated. So we have to place the compass under the wire. Next, without making key to on, just before check the needle in the compass, we can notice that no deflections in the compass. So before oning the key, just see the compass, what is the position of the needle. The needle will be no, no more deflections, means the needle is in stable state, there is no movement in the needle in the compass. Let's go for next point. Now press the tag key means switch on and allow the current through the wire. It is observed that magnetic needle deflects in the compass. So later now we are oning the switch means we are oning the key. So if you on the key what happens the current will pass along the wire and it passes and it will make the closed circuit. By this what happens the magnetic compass which has the needle in it, it will get deflects, means it will move at particular directions. Next, 
which force made to move this magnetic compass so the conclusion is that if a current is passing through the wire what happens around the wire their magnetic field will be produced this makes the needle inside the compass to move this is the case next if you change the direction of the current if you change the direction of the current the direction of the deflection of the needle also changes so now let's change the polarities of the battery or the switch so by this what happened we are changing the current direction so previous maybe the deflection will be towards the left side if you change the polarities what happens the deflection will be towards the right side this is the case so by changing the current direction we can get the deflections changing in directions this is the case next from this we can say that the current carrying conductor produces magnetic field so this is our total activity so we have shown if a current is passing through a copper wire the current which is passing through a wire it produces magnetic field around it which make the needle which is present in the compass to move it means the deflections this is the case by this we have shown that the current carrying wire though it is somewhat height or though they both are separated with some gap the magnetic compass needle is deflected due to the magnetic field which is produced by the current carrying wire this is the case so this is the final step c important point so from this we can say that current carrying wire produces magnetic field the conclusion point next i have taken small note as usual that is the note c a current carrying wire produces magnetic field around it this is the case so the wire whichever it is passing so what happens it produces some magnetic field around it in a circular way the direction i have not mentioned so let's see the direction in next upcoming videos just simple i have taken see so a cell it is connected the voltage we have to pass so it is connected in a series connection with the key to one of the terminal of the wooden stick and it is passed to one more terminal of the wooden stick next it is connected to the battery's positive terminal then if you on the switch what happens the current will pass if the current passes what happens the current carrying wire produces magnetic field around the wire this is the case next so if you off the switch there is no flow of current so there is no current no magnetic field generation this is the case so same for this so final i will explain one more time listen carefully so we are placing a thermocol sheet we are placing the two wooden sticks and these two wooden sticks are connected with the help of one copper wire and this copper wire copper wire is connected in series with the batteries group of cells next it is connected to the key to on and off the one more end is connected to the again it finishes the closed circuit it is the total circuit circuit connection next under the circuit connection we are placing one compass in between of two wooden sticks first we are checking that the wooden the compass needle it is not at all moving why because there is no force to move that but after that we are on in the switch if you on the switch what happens the current will pass through the wire and there one magnetic field will be generated around the wire due to this what happens the needle inside the compass will get deflections so by this we can say the electric current and magnet both are interrelated to each other okay thanks